Transit by Baby Audio is a multi-effect to create complicated, intricate and engaging transitions between parts of a song. Transit can do all of that within one plugin and basically one dial, but can do much more. When you first open the plugin, you get a nice quick start pop-up to show you the most important functions. Baby Audio is not the first developer who has done this and is very customer friendly and useful. You can always run this quick start again by pressing here. These two toggles will let you switch between light and dark skin, which is something we also got used to in Baby Audio plugins. The interface is lovely in my opinion. It is very Baby Audio with their embossed circular design for the dials. Now to which what this plugin is all about, which are the effects. You get 18 of them, it's these ones. You can drag and drop these in any of the up to 7 slots available. As far as I can judge, these modules work in series, starting top left and then proceeding to the right while the last in the chain is bottom right. You can set each of these modules with a ton of presets and sounds and controls to shape the sound however you want. This is the static use case for this plugin where you can really sculpt a mix and use the plugin as a multi effect. Really each of these 18 is tailored to be an effect. That means for instance that you don't get an EQ, but you have filters in all sorts and forms. Here are some more of the effects in single modules and combined.
Now this plugin is named Transit because of its ability to transition. Normally you want to use multiple effects to create very engaging intricate transitions which require an awful lot of automation. That is what this big dial is for. By itself, when you turn, nothing happens. You need to set which of the parameters in each of the modules you use are controlled by this big macro dial. You can set how much these parameters respond to the transition control and those can be done upward or downward like you see in many plugins and synths like for instance Massive or Pro-Q3. This is the true power of transit, because you can do a lot of intricate transitions in a very clear and intuitive way without getting lost in lanes and lanes of annoying automation. If you have found something you like, simply turn the macro dial and change all those controls at once to create transitions. So what this plugin does is that you basically get a very streamlined macro control for many, many effect settings. And with that in mind you don't have to think transition only. Nice complex effects on individual tracks work just as well. This plugin also has what is called Sequencer Mode, and I do not like this naming. Because what it does is that you can set a length for the transition to happen, the movement, and let it loop. This is really nice to have, but it is transition playback, not a sequencer. For live use, this is great to have to start a transition. It automatically starts at the first beat of the next bar. Now all of this is also meant to be used live, and the plugin has almost no latency. And I couldn't see any significant CPU usage. This basically zero latency and minimal CPU usage shows in the aliasing in the OTT module and distortion modules with the heart and rectifier. There are no oversampling options, so the only way to reduce this aliasing is to work in a higher sample rate or use a third party upsampler plugin at the cost of more CPU usage. Overall, another great plugin by Baby Audio. And this video barely scratched the surface of what it can do. Baby Audio seems to have a knack for cool plugins like the one which is displayed on screen and linked in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in that one.